And at that time, Nicole was five months pregnant with his fraternal twin daughters, Malia and Mariah. Aww. Now, shockingly, Matthew's mother, Michelle, did not even know that the two of them were dating. But today, both women are praying that a DNA test proves that Matthew left two pieces of himself behind. <laughs> if you take a look at the picture, right? You all were not really close, right? No, but well, we loved each other. We did. just, it, our relationship was private. Because you had, you had other people in your lives? Yes, he had another woman in his life. So take me back to the day you found out Matthew was shot. It was terrible. I was hurt and alone. I didn't have anybody. And now I have to raise two beautiful babies all alone. Now, did he know that you were pregnant before he died? Yeah. He was happy. We were happy. We were going to have twin girls. What, did he say he was going to talk to his family at some point or what? Yeah. He just wanted to wait for the right time. You didn't attend his funeral, did you? No. Why not? Because I didn't want to upset anyone. I wanted to do the right thing. So when did you kind of reach out to Michelle? Uh, a few months after his funeral. How did you approach it? Um, she messaged me on Facebook, and uh, I replied back to her. And uh, we got on the phone. And uh, we talked, and she came up and seen the twins. And it was... I was happy to know that I finally had somebody in my corner to help me out. Here's the problem in situations like this. There are always naysayers, aren't there? Yeah, they don't believe. They want proof. You think they look alike? You think Matthew looks like the girls? Yeah, those. Look at them. Look at that. Look at this nose. Look at the forehead. Look at the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Well, okay, so obviously everyone here has been through a rough time with this story. And this is what Michelle, Matthew's mother, had to say. Watch. Matthew was the love of my life. He was my firstborn son. And it's not fair that he was taken away from me. I looked up and I asked him, Matthew, why did you leave me? You promised me you would never leave me like this. I didn't know anything about Nicole. I didn't know she was pregnant, and I didn't know Matt was dating her. When Nicole told me that she had these twin girls, I felt like God had sent me two angels. These little girls are two months old, and the first time that I met them, I felt like I was looking at Matthew's eyes. I want nothing more for Malia and Mariah to be his daughters, so a little piece of him will live on. Everyone, please welcome Michelle to the show. Here she is, Michelle. Were you shocked to find out about these babies? Very, yes. Think they look like your son? Yes, um, even more so in other pictures. <laughs> There's a small missing piece here that has to be, how did you find out? It was about 8.40 in the morning, a little after, on April 21st, and, um, and I was sitting on the phone watching the news to, with one of my girlfriends, and my door was open, and like within three minutes, um, Matthew's cousin, who's a big guy, came to the door. He said they got him auntie, they shot him. And I said, no, they couldn't have, because he was so, he was so strong. He was physically strong. He was an emotionally strong man. And I just started screaming. I was like, Marissa, come out, come out, Marissa, come out. I said, they shot Matthew. Matthew's been shot. He had got shot six times from behind. Two or three months after this, mm -hmm. do you get a call from Nicole? How do you find Nicole? What, through, what happens? Uh, through a friend on Facebook, a mutual friend on Facebook that said, can I give your number to this girl named Nicole? And she called and, like I said, I never heard her voice. I never knew her face or anything. And she was just in tears and she kept apologizing for crying. And I said, you don't have to apologize. 
And then she told me and she said, I, um, Matthew knew that I was pregnant and with twins. And when she said was, I didn't know if something happened to the babies or she got rid of the babies. I didn't know. I said, well, what happened to the babies? She said, oh, they came early. They're here. I said, well, what are they? She said, two beautiful little girls. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't completely satisfied that they were your grandkids. No, and I said, you know, this is a lot for me to take in. And at that point in time, I had just began to be able to, like, literally leave my house and... and as soon as you saw the girls, you, you, you felt a connection? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. the girls and that you're here for me and them i have to be mass voice he would expect me to do this you know you would <laughs> let's try to bring the greatest news to you both okay mm -hmm. when it comes to two-month-old malia matthew is the father <laughs> when it comes to two-month-old mariah Matthew is the father. <laughs>